Hello baseball fans, hope everybody's doing awesome out there, staying safe, getting excited for the postseason. It is coming up soon. Haven't hit subscribe yet? Please do so. Brand new YouTuber, so really appreciate your support. Plus, going to have some prizes coming down the line for subscribers, so you're going to get in on that as well. So hey, I mentioned the postseason, that's right. What, 11 games away? Maybe 10 or 12 for some other teams? But it's certainly coming up for the Blue Jays, and it's definitely going to be a reality this season. Something to get excited about. And the big question that's been brewing with Blue Jay fans is, who is going to start Game 3 of the Wild Card Series if it comes to that? That's right, who would be your number 3 starter? That person that you put into the game when everything's on the line, and it's going to come down to either Jose Barrios or Ross Stripling. And let's look at these two guys quickly this season. Because Jose Barrios has not been the Jose Barrios that we signed to that $131 million contract. His ERA has been floating between 490 to 520. That's right, 4.9 to 5.2. Not good at all. Am I worried about Jose Barrios? No, because when Jose's been on this year, his stuff has been electric. Unfortunately, when he's been off, and he's been off a little bit more than he's been on, it has been horrendous. It's almost like he's been tipping his pitches somehow, and the batters are lighting this guy up. On the other side, Jose Barrios has such a strong record of consistency through his years with the Twins organization, and even that first half season that he was with the Jays that warranted that extension. So I'm not worried. I believe Jose Barrios is going to have a big bounce back season next year. But even though he's going to have a bounce back season next year, the question is this year, and does he qualify to be that number three starter in the wild card series? On the other hand, we have Mr. Ross Stripling, who I said has been the real MVP of the Blue Jays this year. Right, this guy had to step in. He was put into a bullpen situation right from the hop of the season. He wasn't even given a starter job. Him Jun Ryu blows himself out, done for, well, forever for the Jays. He'll never suit up again. And Ross Stripling had to quickly amass himself as a starter. And he wasted no time in doing that. His stuff has been awesome. An ERA around three, sometimes even under. Having games where he's going six innings and only letting in two or three hits and one run. Yeah, that's happened with Ross Stripling. That's how good he's been. But with all of that, you're getting somebody who's been really good this season, but inconsistent with his seasons before. Versus Jose Barrios, who's been inconsistent this season, but consistent in all of his starts before. And in saying that, I'm curious what you think in the comments below. I'm going to go hard and still say, I want Jose Barrios to start Game 3. That's right. Even with everything that's happened with Jose Barrios over this season, and nothing to say against Ross Stripling, who I said is the MVP of the Blue Jays season, with that pressure, that intensity... I'm going to go with somebody who has had that experience, and that person is Jose Barrios. And hopefully he gets the job done, and he's not chewing on his mouthpiece while he's exiting the second inning. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you going to go with Ross Stripling, or would you go with Jose Barrios? I don't know. Either way, any game in the playoffs is always a toss-up, and add the pressure of a Game 3, yeah, that's going to be tough. Let me know in the comments below. Always appreciate it. Hopefully everybody stays safe out there. Hit like and subscribe, and we'll talk soon. Take care, guys. Bye.